Good morning. I'm back in the shop. I'm really just tinkering. I got the tractor done. I do got to grease the front end, but that'll only take a second. Then I'm going to go out and wash the old big girl. Get her cleaned up. Let her drip dry. It's a little drizzly outside, but it loosened everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and get her done. Then I'm going to pull this one out. Give her a nice little bath. Put her away for the winter. And back the other one in. Let her drip dry. But I did. I did install my new LED lights. Of course, I last videos I have them all down here. They're green. I like it. They're only a couple bucks a piece, and it makes me happy. A lot of people think stuff like this is stupid, but not me. So let's turn the lights on. Check them out. That's the can't really get the effect right yet, but you will. So you turn these lights off. Oh, look at that. Look at that, Mike Smith. That shit is dope. I love that. Look at that. Green. Shut the hood. Lights are front of her up. Of course, with all the other lights, you can't tell, but I love how it lights them up. And it actually, when it's really dark out, you can see the green neon lights on the ground and stuff. But I like that. That's pretty tough looking. Things like that make me really happy. I wish there was a way you could turn the top lights off and just use the little lights, but I don't think it lets you do that. I want to put some under, somewhere underneath of her. Cause you know, I got the front glowing. I got two on the back, but they're not on right now. But I would like to put something where it shines underneath of her. Cause I got them on the planter combine. Now I want to put them on the drill, but I like it. I think it's tough. I don't, know. I don't think it'll let you do it. You see, it won't let you. I'll let you do it. I don't think. I don't think it will. There you go. She'll do it with full weight on. But I like that. She's got that glow. You can see the glow all the way underneath her. I like that. I think it looks pretty tough. Pretty tough. But I would like to get some more on her, shine down a little bit better. But I think I would really like the the ones on the back of her better. Let's see, because how the it's got it on the front, it ain't got nothing on the back. Of course, I do got. Let me let me find this wherever my control wad is at. Of course, it's so dark in here right now. Yeah, it's somewhere right here. I'll get right back with you. There's the ones that light up the back. The camera doesn't do the green no justice. I like how it lights up the B&R Farms. So, but I would like to have something shining on the ground. Guy, on, there's a couple guys on TikToks, big farmers out west, they put them on their RXs. I thought that was just very nice. So, but I like it. I would like to put one in the cab too, like in the floor, like lighten it up. I think that would look pretty good. But I like stuff like that. So at nighttime, you know, like I said, the camera ain't doing it justice, really. But at nighttime, it does look pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so I figured out you could actually turn all the lights off individually except for the ones that you want. They're not white LED. I would like to put white LED bulbs in that. So that's pretty neat. Wish I had a little bit more 
these are smaller lights up in here. I like to put bigger lights like what I put in here, the green, to shine down. And I might do that because it's very simple. It takes about five minutes per light. So I could possibly do that. But I like them. And I didn't know you could turn each individual light off with these things. You turn the switch on and all you do is you just hit this, this, this. Look, everything just, everything just comes right back on. That's pretty neat. Oh. Well, that's my playtime for today. I'm gonna get some more and do it. Cause I like that. All right, good morning. It is Thursday. <clears throat> I think it's December 9th, December 8th, something. <clears throat> All the days go together, so. This morning I am in the cab of my tractor. I got everything outside done. Although, like I said, I wouldn't want to put, I do want to put one more green light underneath the back of her, but I don't have one. So I think I got one at the house, but I'm not sure. But it'll probably wait. So right now I'm just cleaning the windows and the inside of the cab. And there's a lot of people that have these tractors and they, you know, they trade them in all the time. Well, this tractor will probably be with me for a really long time. Um, I mean, what, what would I do? Update to another 8R that's basically the same exact thing. So, this thing right here be here for a while. And I want to keep her nice because she is my baby. It makes... I waited a long time to have an 8R. And now that I got one, I don't want to let go of it or getting something else. I've been in case and everything else. And uh, tell me. I'll tell you right now that this tractor is by far the nicest tractor I've ever been in. I love driving it and I don't want anything to happen to it because trust me when you've been in one then well the same goes for case guys you all like your cases I've been in the new cases the old cases I like I prefer the deer over case um, but you know to each its own but I want to keep it nice because I I'm going to have to have this thing for a while. And it's still a very nice tractor. I don't ever want to get rid of it. Even if I was to get another 8R, I'd never get rid of this. I'd keep this for put her doing something else. Take the place of one of the other ones. So. Just cleaning the cab. Did the windows. Now I'm just wiping down all the I guess you would call it plastic in here. Getting it clean. Christmas time will be here soon, so I wanna try to get all this little piddly stuff done. Because we'll be taking off and going to Ohio and nobody will be here to do anything, so I got one more tractor to do. The big tractor. And then We will be done. I'm hoping that it stops raining so I can get the beans. The beans look like they're dried up out here, but it's been raining, so we can't get them. So I'm kind of hoping that the, it dries up by the time we get back so we can cut those beans and get them out. My dad just wants to leave them in the field because he don't think they're going to do anything, but there's probably ten or $15,000 worth of beans out there. I'm not leaving them out in the field for any, any reason. You can definitely use that money to do something. Thought it just ain't gonna yield good burn combine fuel, but if you burn three hundred dollars worth of combine fuel and get ten thousand dollars worth of crop off, I'd say that's a fair trade. I would like to get a rug. 
I got some old carpet at the house that my buddy Ben took out of his house. I would like to cut it and put it in here. Um, I think that would just make it feel a little bit more cozy. So this rubber mat. I know they make the big rubber mats you can put in here, but it's already a rubber mat, so why would I get one of them? So, I haven't really cleaned the outside of it yet. Just getting the inside done. But, it's pretty much her. It's not really cold today. Well, it's not cold, but it's not warm, but it's kind of like that in-between crap. been raining, raining for three days, I think. So, here I'll show you, look at the glass. It's wet everywhere, I mean, it's like sop wet. You can't even, you step in any part of a field, you just sink right in. It's just wet today, I think it's, you know, it stopped raining, so let's see, hopefully it'll dry up but I got her wash yesterday um, I'm gonna close the front doors move her in here we gotta unhook all the trucks once I get these done put everything away until probably lead to blue one out because she's gonna haul the excavator around and I might not put the first black one away until we get done with the beans here but there's the you can see the beans there behind the fuel tank I mean they're ready it's just because of the rain it's just ugh. Everything's just so wet. All right, so we've got everything put away. I am going to take the key out and put on the side and see if that helps with the battery draining. I don't know if it will or not, but. So we got the sprayer done, drill done. Of course, I do want to do some things to that drill we use her this year i do got all new blades for it but i think the blades that are on it will go another season i mean they're not really in bad shape but i do need to put the little uh firmers inside the boots here that go inside of them um she's got them on most of them and some of them are worn out so i do want to do that so I still got 50 acres to cut with her before we do anything with that. My brother's, our tractor, it's been serviced. It's ready to go. Mine's been serviced. Sprayer's been serviced. Planter's all ready to go. Beans, I drilled beans this year. I just left her on corn, cleaned her up, greased her. She's ready to go. Uh, but the only problem I do have, see how it leans? I do have a cylinder that leaks down a little bit. It is this one right here. And it's not leaking oil or anything, but it just leaks down. So I really need to take that off and get her fixed. Go get her all redone. But I don't know if you can do it with her sitting here, if you have to have her folded open. So that'll probably be a later time. I need to ask um, Brian, the John Deere guy, if I can take that off because she is locked up. It's got the locks on that cylinder, but this cylinder right here is the one that always seems to leak. So I need to see if I can take that off, if it would affect anything while she's sitting here like this. So, But all the tractors are done, except for the big one. I'm going to get the big one and uh, service her. We do got to rebuild the corn head, but that's going to be probably when we pull her in there. Um, beginning of the year for wheat because we always pull her in and get her changed over and do all that stuff, wash her and clean her up. We don't wash her when we're done. That way the water don't sit in the barrens. We just blow her off and then wash it the following season when it starts getting warm, but we'll probably do the cord head at that point. So the big tractor's the last thing left, really. I'm going to go get her done and then That'll be it for 2022. 
Hey, good morning. We are servicing the old big girl today. Um, I should have done it the other day after I backed it in here where the engine motor and everything, the oil was warm, but I didn't do it. I got lazy. So I'm going to do it this morning, get her done. And uh, hard to find a eight wheeler articulated with three point hitch. She doesn't have PTO, to, so she's got true horsepower going to her. Um, yeah, I, all I gotta do is just service it and uh, change some filters on her, and that's pretty much it for today. Um, not much else really going on. It is a Saturday. It is very cold. It's probably the coldest day of the year for us. Um, I think it was down to like 20. So, we're just going to get her serviced. It's probably going to take the oil a little while to drain where it's so cold. Grease the center section of her. See if there's anything in the cab. Clean it out. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm hoping to cut the soybeans Tuesday. I've been looking at the weather. I think Tuesday would be the the best day to cut them love that thing and uh so yeah not much going to be going on this will probably be uh the last part of this video and then i probably won't post another one or video or anything until we start cutting um but yeah I'll show you what we're doing now i never like i said before i never put them on with this but i need to take them off with this it does have a little green thing here. I could probably use that. Change oil, two fuel filters, and a oil filter. Seems like she's a huge tractor, but she's not very easy to get underneath. Let me get this. Let me get this camera right for you guys. Yeah, that's gonna take forever. I should have just popped the thing off of her and been done with it. Bottom plug. But we'll let her run for a while. It's cold. I should have started her up and let her run for 
in 15 minutes. There's a the oil filter on her. We did paint her. She was real faded, but we got her painted. Looks 10 times better. I was going through town one day and this adjuster right here went bad, so I had to change the belt on her. But she does good for cheap high horsepower. We used to have this in 8640. And the day we got rid of 8640 was very happy. It was on one of my videos back in the day, but I despise that tractor. Yeah, cheap horsepower, but man, that, that cab, that was the most uncomfortable cab I've ever been in. The exhaust pipes were right in the way, and they had huge pipes. This one right here, she's older, but she does do good. Um, she'll pull her butt off. Good for a tillage tractor. That's mainly all I want her for is just a tillage tractor. It would be nice to update to an R series eventually, but we got more important things to do now. She's good for now. She'll last us. She'll last us. We just did put all new tires on her. That was twenty, thirty thousand dollars to do all the tires, take tires on her. But she'll last us shit. 10, 15, 20 more years probably, it's not longer perfect for what what her job is now she used to do a lot of other things but she just till us now she's perfect for that so i don't know the number on this filter was r e589 and i went and got a new one the other day but it's sub to uh dz 1118 269 so i thought maybe they gave me the wrong filter again but they gave me the right one just subbed out. I guess they updated their filter. As you can see there, that's the old big style filter. The new R tractors have that little teeny, got it, the teeny filter. It makes you feel like it's not the right one. I mean, it went from this to now all of a sudden they got that little paper filter in the new tractors. It's just crazy that it, you needed this at one point, and now you don't. Put a little bit of oil on here. Turn it back on. The other ones didn't get used that much. 4440 got used, but it didn't get the hours on it that these did. I'm sure he'll still want to waste money on changing the oil, but I don't see no sense in it. I think with the price of oil and filter and everything else, I think she can go two seasons and then we change her over. on there. I got two fuel filters to change. Last time we changed the services last year, she don't have the electronic fuel pump. So you got to fill these up um, manually and put them on. And we filled them all the way to the top. We got her locked up. We actually had to get John Deere down here to get her started. So that's always why I hate changing the fuel filters on this tractor right here. But I'm gonna attempt it today anyway, because I mean, it's gotta get done. So, but I despise, I like the electronic fuel pump where so you just turn the key and let them fill up on their own and they roll with it. But you would think they'd be the same way, just filling her up. But man, we had to pump that thing for an hour. Even though we put fuel in it, we had to, we had to pump her and pump her and pump her to get her going. But I mean, we got her going. The problem is when you take these off, you get all, take this off, well that takes time. While you're doing that, she gets so much air in the system. And uh, I wish they would make, the new filter would come right with this already attached and then you ain't got to fool with it, but they don't. 
you gotta take this off. By the time you fold all that crap, it uh, she can get air locked, so I don't know. get inside the fuel filter.
two new filters. We'll change that one about every other year. Um, but as you can see, when you're trying to crimp everything on, they put, they put all this stuff in the way of these. So you just can't get in anywhere without, like why couldn't they put this, have it angle up a little bit over here, and this one right here maybe angle back a little bit. It's like, good Lord. It's like they, they want you to struggle you know, an hour to do a 10 minute job. It don't take long to change the oil and something. It takes longer for it to drain than it actually does to do the, the whole job. It's just, oh my gosh. But anyway, um, it's gonna take a little bit longer for that bucket right there to fill up. So um, once it gets done, I'm just gonna dump oil in it, fire her up and uh, grease the center of her and she's done. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Like, like subscribe. You know, everybody tells you that I can't get any more viewers or views. Um, you know, half my audience are non-subscribers, so come on, subscribe and watch. That's all I have. I'm not doing anything different than the big guys are. They're doing the same thing right now. So, just servicing and peeling around. Um, their stuff gets watched. I see, like, Cold of Cornstar just killed his second or third dog um, puppy that they had. I mean, they, they're the people that don't need dogs. Um, and then now I see they just bought another dog after they just killed their second or third dog. Um, but he'll put a video out and lie and say he lost a million dollars or he's digging a grave trying to get people to feel like he's compassionate or he's losing, killed another dog. He'll get 100,000 views in 15 minutes. I mean, come on. So, that's a, you know, Larson, they need 15 people to make a video. It's just me it's just me it's all i got i know it's more entertaining with 15 people but you know anyway just keep watching i'm gonna get her done and be done for today and then hopefully the next video you will be seeing us cut soybeans so see you later